Thank you so much, Konami, for giving me some content. You know, I was running out of ideas, but then you decided to drop a big healthy dump on the Master Duel players. I knew the first balance was going to be shit. The Ultra Ball knew that the first balance was going to be dog shit. And guess what? It's dog shit because it doesn't fix a fucking thing. Ah, I love easy content. I swear, Konami knows how to fix things in the IRL game, but whoever's in charge of Master Duel, y'all getting fucked. This is why I told you not to play the game. So let's just, let's dive on into some baby back bullshit. Make sure you Colossal Titan smash the ever-loving crap out of that like and subscribe button so that we can get to 800, further into 700, and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know what kind of video I wanted to post this weekend. Konami just decided to drop the first ever Master Duel ban list, and it's fucking shit. So let's just, let's get on into it. So first off, there's no bans, so... They didn't ban uh, Vert Anaconda. I'm assuming that's in the game. I could be wrong. Um, they didn't ban DD Dynamite. Oh, but but they hit the card. They didn't ban Eva, so they didn't kill fucking Drytron. So let's just go into the limits. They put Cyber Angel Benten and Conquistador of the Golden Land to one. <laughs> so... If you're just a casual Master Duel player and you're wondering like, oh, what's with this ban list? This doesn't do fucking shit. This really doesn't. Ben 10 to 1, we've seen in the actual IRL game that this really doesn't do much to Drytron. It limits their searching, but there's a reason why Konami and the TCG banned EVA. And that's because Drytron was still a problem, even with Ben 10 at 1. Conquistador of the Golden Land, putting this to one, again, doesn't really do anything to fucking Eldritch because you didn't hit Eldritch the Golden Lord himself. So hitting Conquistador to one is like, okay, so if you open with it, then you have a one pop interrupt, assuming that you can get out Golden Lord, which spoiler alert, they will, no matter what. They have Scarlet Sanguine to get out Golden Lord, which is still a three. So they can banish the Sanguine to get Golden uh, Conquistador of the Golden Land. Um, yeah, this, this, this don't do shit. Semi-limited, DD Dynamite, because y'all out here playing some baby back bullshit and then you want to buy out DD Dynamite because you think it'll be good in the real game when you don't realize that you have more draw power in Master Duel than you do in the actual game. Sekka's Light at 2, yeah, y'all got too much generic draw power in that shit. Fusion Destiny at 2, look at the IRL game, it makes sense. Phantom Knights of Torn Scales, because in singles, when you're able to just negate everything the opponent does, it's pretty fucking broke. Tri Brigade, Fractal, Virtual World, Roshi, Lao Lao, Lyra Lucid, Cobalt Sparrow, Prank Kids, Roxies, and Adam Emancipator Analyzer are both at two. So, again, if you're a casual or you just don't understand competitive Yu Gi Oh!, Prank Kids, Roxies, and Analyzer 2 doesn't do fucking shit. You do realize that a lot of Prank Kids decks now just play two of each Prank Kid, right? So, this doesn't do shit. And Adam Emancipator. I don't know if Block Dragon's banned in that game or not because I refuse to play that shit as I've talked about before. But all you have to do is throw in a match mode, ban Block Dragon, and add Emancipator's fix. And here's the thing. A lot of these issues in Master Duel, they could be fixed if you just added in a match mode. Like literally. Because if you just have a singles mode that has like TCG banless cards and OCG banless cards just slap together into one ban list it doesn't do anything like you have this big hodgepodge of shit that is just garbage and then you have this ban list that just doesn't accomplish anything oh but excuse me red eyes darkness metal dragon is no longer limited it's a hard once per fucking turn who gives a shit <laughs> Then they also uh, explain bonuses on like obtaining cards by dismantling shit. I don't give a fuck about that. If you're buying cards in this game, you're already losing too much money as it is. However, there was one interesting thing that I wanted to point out here, which was them talking about the ban list as a whole. If I can find the right one. Ah, here we go. Limit regulations in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel are subject to change in order to improve game balance and increase player enjoyment. <laughs> Bruh. Tell me that Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is doing bad without telling me Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is doing bad. Um, there is no player enjoyment. You need to add a fucking match system. Limit regulations are also subject to careful review and may be changed or removed as the environment changes. 
In those cases, card effects may change. I love how they put that shit in parentheses. So y'all could get an errata of like Max C and you, they just give you a big middle finger and just say, too bad, deal with it. Max C is a uh, up to draw up to three cards a turn. Um, let's see what this says here. I have to kind of look over my camera. When changes are to be made, the details of the changes will be communicated to players before they are implemented. I will say this. They communicate with players more about fucking Master Duel than they do in the IRL game. Look at the real life ban list. The next change after this will be in a few months. Why do you think I made that parody video with like Jim Sterling's uh, Bethesda's Bethetic video? Because it's like, really, bro? In a few months? Are you kidding me? Uh, it goes on to say here, if I could look around the camera, changes will usually be announced two weeks before they're applied. However, this time frame is subject to change if urgent changes are needed, AKA a tier zero deck comes in, AKA a bullshit FTK comes in that just starts stealing all the fucking single games in the world because you know that shit's gonna happen because you have a single one out of one fucking game mode. And then you have people on here that are playing fucking Sacred Beast and wonder why they're getting their buttholes pushed in. So look, if you're still playing Master Duel, God bless you, because clearly you have all the patience in the world. Th this game is still garbage, and it, it goes into effect on May 9th. So, you know, you still got a couple weeks before it goes into effect and you're dealing with shit. They didn't ban Maxi. Maxi needs to be banned. If, if you don't agree with me, that's fine. Um, DD Dynamite should be at three, because all they'd have to do is add in a match system, and then your ass would be able to side deck, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, they need to put Card of Demise to one. They just need to make it the TCG ban list, honestly. Like, I've talked about ad nauseum. I've beat that horse to death on the changes that they need to fucking make. If you are going to have a system like this, you need to have choices for the player, because more choices is never a bad thing. Have a TCG IRL format so that someone that wants to play in the TCG format with our IRL ban list have a single and a match mode. OCG ban list, single, match mode. The Master Duel, the hodgepodge of ban list shit, which is just garbage, single and match mode. Why is that so hard to do? Like, really, why is it so hard to do? And yet, apparently, y'all don't even have, like, flunderies in the game, which is, like, you're missing an entire tier one deck from this fucking pool of cards and it's like it's not the real game i'm sorry if you love master duel more power to you but from a competitive player standpoint this is not real Yu-Gi-Oh, and this ban list fucking proves that when you have a card like prank kids roxies that you're putting to two to try and say oh <laughs> we hit the deck no you fucking didn't because prank kids play two of each prank kid in their decks right now in the tcg format where you actually have fucking matches so I don't know, maybe it's different in singles, but prank kids are still gonna be a good deck. If you hate fucking prank kids and you're, you've are you been bitching about it, you're gonna keep on bitching about it because Roxy's the two doesn't do anything. Analyzer to two doesn't, excuse me, doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, so have fun dismantling your NFTs for gems and stuff because I'm gonna keep on shitting on this game until they make it better and it's, it's free content. So as I've said before, don't play Master Duel. If you want to get better at the game, you need to play a meta deck. Go and play Dueling Book, Dueling Nexus, EDO Pro, YGO Pro. Go and play the old World Championship games. I mean, honestly, like there are so many other choices that you have out there at your disposal that you could be playing instead of Master Shits. You know what? We're not even going to call it Master Duel anymore. We're going to call it Master Shits because that's what it is. It is a Master Dookie that is just dropped from the holes of Konami. I, I was going to say something else there, but I, I don't want this video just to get taken down due to mean words because I've already said fuck like 30 times in this video. So anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments, you know, feel free to drop some dookies on, uh, on Master Duel. Um, I'm telling you, there's better stuff out there and I've outlined it many times. And you know what? Thanks to this ban list, I'm now going to bring out a video of why Master Duel failed because this isn't going to bring players back. It's just not. It's really not. And in all seriousness, if someone from Konami is somehow watching this video, look, Konami, you have a very good system in place, right? I'm taking dumps on this game and whatever, but it's because at the end of the day, like just someone like me who's a competitive player can't take this game seriously, right? If you want people like me to take this seriously, you need to have a match mode. You need to have a TCG and OCG balanced. If people want to play with this master duel balanced, give them that option. Just have three different options of play. That's all you need to do. So yeah, I'm an armchair developer. I don't know nothing about developing games, but 
I know what good and bad Yu-Gi-Oh looks like, and I'd rather be playing the TCG right now with Artifact Scythe and DPE locks than be playing whatever baby back bullshit y'all playing with DD Dynamites and shit. Once I saw the DD Dynamite FTK, I knew damn well I wasn't going to play this game because that's just a bucket of shit, and people that are playing that deck are just scrubs anyway, so we don't need to be dealing with that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.